Okay, this is some um, Time Honored Designs, and we are going to be showing you some beginning techniques using the hybrids for face painting. Okay, so to make sure that there's no condensation or any water built up in your guns from cleaning it, what we like to do first is blow our guns out with denatured alcohol prior to hooking them up to the product. So Andrea's got it hooked up to denatured alcohol here, and she's just going to blow it out and pull it off and then blow it clear. And we're going to do that with all the guns that we're going to be using prior to using the hybrids. And that's how we found we've gotten the best results. So then you're going to shake your hybrid product for 20 seconds. We like to put in a marble um, to help stir it up. So Andrea's going to shake it for 20 seconds. Okay, we've also found with the hybrids that we can spray them at a lot lower PSI than we would a water-based product. I've got the gauge set here at just below 18 PSI. Um, your gauges on a CO2 tank aren't going to be real accurate, so what we would do is we would test it on our own face with a double action brush without the product in it to see how it feels. So what we like to do is test the airflow out on our own face to make sure it's not too much and it feels comfortable. That's about where we want it, and that's still a little less than 18 PSI. If we were running a water base, we'd probably be bumping that up to um, at least 25, which makes a big difference on how it feels. So now we're applying the base coat, um, which we mix the base coat with white and just a little bit of the neon green. We like to tell people when we paint them with the airbrushes, it can feel a little intimidating, but if they just raise their hand slightly, we will back off the trigger, and that helps to feel, make the person feel more comfortable and that they're in control of the process. Now we're going to show you a trick with people um, for scrunchy eyes. So if Jenny would scrunch her eyes, which you're going to get, um, especially with kids, on, on how to get a better... Uh, flow of paint when they're doing that. So go ahead and scrunch your eyes, Jenny, like, there you go. And if you just very gently lift the skin up right where the brow is, it helps even out those creases. So go ahead, scrunch up for us, there you go, now, and that will help um, to get into where those creases are on the eye. You want to be careful when airbrushing the face that you don't get the airbrush too close up to the lips because you don't want to blow that air into their mouth. A little bit of white highlight. She's going to flip the stencil. The nice thing about the hybrids is you can flip the stencils without transferring the product that's on the back side because it dries so quickly. I'm going to come in front just to make sure it's lined up. shade the jawline. First with the fluorescent. Take the black and start putting in the texture on the forehead. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. A stencil like this, don't be afraid to move it around where you need it. It doesn't have to exactly go in the same place of where you first placed it. You can move it around to fit your needs. And every face is going to be a little bit different shape and a little bit different size. So Andrea is moving the stencil to fit her face for this particular model. Here's your eyebrows. So what we've done here is taken the hybrids and we've kind of let them evaporate for a few hours um, into a nice liquid that we can brush on. So now we're going to brush on some of the um, evaporated hybrid that we let sit out without a cap for probably four hours. It's going to depend on what your humidity is in your area. Using it this way, it will evaporate very quickly. Uh, so you don't want to put a whole lot out of the bottle. Just what you're going to need to use immediately. She just needs some lips. Your eyes can... A dehydrated version that we left the cap off for a while of just the hybrid airbrush makeup. Um, the nice thing about using this on the lips is that they can drink or eat and it's not going to mess it up. Um, much like a water base would come right off if they were going to eat. She could even eat ice cream and it would still be there. It also doesn't come off on the teeth like the water base does because it dries faster. There you go. There's Maleficent.